Welcome back to another wedding planning vlog. We're here. Um, we're going to the wedding and honeymoon show fair today in um Beware Yes. This I think it's usually on at like January, February, but it was put off, I think, because of COVID. So I can't believe how quickly it's like rolled around. I remember like when we got engaged in December, I was like, oh, that's so annoying. That's been cancelled. Like, I'm gonna have like everything planned by September. So like that's just so annoying. I wish it was earlier, blah, blah, blah. And now like we do obviously have like our venue and I have my dress, but that's it. Like we don't have a photographer, a videographer. And I also don't really know anyone. I don't have like my makeup chosen. I have a few people that I'd like think of and a few people, people for hair that I'd maybe think of, but nothing else sorted. So like, I'm delighted. So yeah, we bought the tickets the other day and i'm looking forward to it i can't wait but it's literally lashing it's lashing all weekend so to be fair it's a good weekend for it like a good weekend to be indoors and have something on and actually get some steps in walking around as well but it's miserable and the forecast looks like it's literally not stopping whatsoever this weekend so yeah, i'll bring you guys along and show you some good bits hopefully and i'll let you know how it was after Where me and Con had our first date. It used to be a restaurant. So I'm just walking down to get my nails done now. It's now one day. Um, but I promise I'm gonna fill you in on how the wedding planning has been going over the last few days, especially at the wedding and honeymoon fair when I get back. And I'll show you my nails as well. This, why not? I don't even know what I'm going for. Imagine being me. Yeah, the nail salon that I go to is literally a seven minute walk from my house and like a three minute drive, but like you have to find parking and pay for it. It's quicker to walk and also so handy to get steps in. Okay, nice and houses, by the way. I'm obsessed. I'm going to show you my nails. To be fair, this one broke and that's the only reason why the shellac came off because I pulled the rest of it off and I pulled the nail off, but none of the rest of the shellac has got, I think I've had them on for like a month. This one's perfect, they're just really, really grown out. But yeah, I actually love these. Just a bit of glitter on top of like a French pink. Look, you're grown out. <sighs> Guys, I went for red. As soon as I went in, I saw red on the colors and I was like, I'm just gonna go for red. I've been meaning to all summer and I feel like I'm finished color color, like no bright neons or anything anymore. Summer's done, but I feel like September now, you know, and red just kind of fits in with both. So delighted. I'm also out of breath because I just walked up a hill, but love them so much. These are just my natural nails, which lack this little short piggy in the middle is so ugly though. She did offer to do um uh like fake nail on that one, but like she's like, oh no, nah, I'll just leave it, it'll grow in like a week, be fine already like not sore or anything anymore and it was like two days ago it was like sore like I had to pull it off you know actually maybe that was only a day ago but yeah so it's grand it'll be grown by the end of the week um anyway yeah I got red but do you know what I was thinking um if you follow Bridget I think her name is just like Bridget 
like really well known <laughs> on Instagram. I think it was her who said that she had her nails done red when she got engaged. <laughs> Way from proposed. Now obviously I'm already engaged, but I don't know what else can happen. <laughs> Maybe Com will ask me to elope. <laughs> I'm not sure. But um yeah, apparently so and loads of people were replying to her being like, oh my god, the same thing happened to me. I had red nails when I was supposed to. I didn't mind where probably the worst set of nails I've ever got done to be honest they were hideous no they weren't they were grand they were like they were peachy kind of nude when I just I just wanted nude with a bit of glitter on the bottom but the glitter was a bit shitty um so it didn't look great but and they also chipped as well so I fixed them myself as well but anyway so I went to be my Christmas now because it was Christmas Eve so we got engaged on so unfortunately they weren't <laughs> The nicest ones I've got, but they weren't too bad. Like they were grand, but I've had quite nicer ones since. I would have just rather plain, to be honest. But anyway, these things happen. <laughs> That's typical, isn't it? Um, but yeah, loads of people were replying to her saying that they had red nails when they got engaged, and also then some of them were like, "Fuck it, I just decided to get my nails painted red and see what happens," and then they fully <laughs> got proposed to. So. <laughs> If anyone wants to try it out, go for it. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> it's worth the shot. <laughs> Mind you, like I really don't want to get engaged and then got your nails in red and then you did. Well, then you proposed your office but say no. Gas. Anyway, I'm gonna go home now. It's it starting to rain. Hmm. It was meant to rain way earlier than this though, so I can't complain, but I am. Forgot to say, but this goes without saying, but like always nice to return, you know? I'm pale AF at the moment. Hey, so it's now actually the next day. I mean, you're not coming up. You're not. Um, but anyway, yeah, I said <laughs> that I would update you, but now I can't even remember. So basically, we went to the wedding and honeymoon show, and it was actually really good. There wasn't like a massive amount people there and then I was also kind of thinking like if you are able to go on a Saturday surely that's like a big day for weddings so like any good photographers videographers even bands but I guess they could be working like that night should really be too busy to even go so I was kind of like second guessing like there was a photographer that we quite liked at it but the others were good but like they didn't really stick out or like I didn't love their personality to get me I think you need to like get on with them as well okay fine um but yeah it's just mm. but anyway it's got us back like on track and we're back like looking at people we also got this website if I can find it I'll link it below I'm sure Con will know what it's called um, he basically just like put in our wedding date and then lots of bands that are free get back to you. So rather than us looking at loads and them not being available, we just thought it'd be probably a lot easier. So we um, have done that and then we went through like, I think there was like 27 or something bands that we watched last night and come made an Excel sheet and we <laughs> had like all the prices and all of the, um, what's it called? Oh yeah, then we gave like a rating so we could tell which ones are good or not. So there was a couple that we liked. There was none that I absolutely adored and I was like, wow, but I don't know if I like wedding bands that much. I don't know if it's just me. Bobby, leave me be. Um, but yeah, it's definitely good to do it that way. I can leave names of bands and stuff um, down below if you want. Um, and the same with photographers. I have got some recommendations that I got on Instagram saved to a highlight there if you're looking for it now bloody honey's here and she's wanting to get up and there's barely enough room money for bob um but yeah that's kind of all that we've really got on the wedding planning done since i didn't even really get anything i thought i'd have like a goodie bag to show you from the wedding fair but or the wedding show but i didn't really get didn't really get anything there were a few cake testers but i didn't try any that was it well there was a little fashion show at it it wasn't like, it wasn't amazing, but like it was still nice. It was nice to go when I feel like, it's nice to go when I feel like you, 
only get to do these kind of things once like I've definitely when I was younger like seen the wedding and honeymoon show was on and been like oh I'd love to be on to that you get me like it's just like nice to be planning a wedding and nice to do these things and like you do want to like remember oh, here comes honey you do want to like remember what's going on and stuff Bobby she's allowed to come up she's allowed to come up he's so jealous of her no she's allowed to come up she's allowed to come up oh boy yeah I think that's kind of all that I've got to fill you in on um for now but we'll probably have another look at some bands and photographers and stuff today and over the next few days they're so cute I cannot <laughs> yeah honey's oh, giving me kisses she's such a little sweetheart but yeah so I'll update you as I go for now I think that's all that I've got we're actually going to your attic break tomorrow hey random save save on our heating bills inflation and all that Right, I have to go because I have to get these off me. <laughs> Bye. No, good dog. Guys, it's now the next day. I know this is all over the place, but I'm just watching um Ellie and Connor's Ellie Darby. Well, Swift. Um their wedding q and I already watched their wedding video the other day. Oh my god, I think it was like 50 minutes long and I actually cried for most of it. Like so badly I had to go and like blow my nose and wipe my tears away like I'd say like seven times, I like kept crying again and been like, oh, I need to stop this because I'm not getting up again. And then I do it again. I'm unbelievable. But um, I'm just so emotional. <laughs> I'm so emotional. I don't know what it is. I wasn't emotional when I was younger, I don't think. But now I am. I don't know what it is. I just can't control it. I just, oh, when I was at my auntie's wedding, I was like drowning in my tears at the speeches. Like they were bouncing off my face, like hitting off my chin and everything. And that was like in front of people. So I don't know how I'm going to hold it together at our actual wedding. But yeah, it's mad. Like Connor was the emotional one at their wedding. And it's going to be the opposite at ours. I'm like, Con won't shed a tear. He's like, don't be disappointed. Like, you know, I won't. I think I've seen him cry once Um, when somebody died. And that's the only time in our whole relationship that I've seen him cry he's never cried over like a fight or anything like that but then to be fair like you haven't really had any like proper fight well not that I know of maybe he has on his own but I don't I don't think he has <laughs> yeah we haven't really had any like big fights like nothing major and we've never ever like broken up that's it really there was like when we were first starting to see each other I was kind of like getting cold feet and I was like oh do I want to <laughs> and I think I was just like drunk and then it was weird and then I went to work the next day and like didn't text him at all and then Aoife texted me and was like you were just been stupid and I was like fair <laughs> so then I texted him saying hey come and then he replied in a split second like I swear to god he was in our messages <laughs> he must have been that's how fast he replied but yeah I think that was the closest to like a breakup but we weren't even together yet we were just barely seeing each other um probably like a month but that was it really so yeah I don't know I, he was definitely really sad over that he said but I don't know if he was actually like crying which you know I don't know anyway boys are weird but some of them are really emotional like my dad's so emotional and Colin was so emotional in their video very confusing that they both at the same name I'd say you're like who are you talking about but um yeah I'm getting worried because I'm like am I going to be able to control myself <laughs> like am I going to be able to like keep it together do you know what I mean I'm gonna have to like I don't want to but like I might have to like try and switch off my emotions but like do you want that on your wedding day do you want to have like like, I don't know, do you want to not experience it properly? Like, oh, I don't know, it's tough. I don't know. I might surprise myself and Con might also surprise me because like Ellie and Connor were both like, we were like surprised by how emotional it was. And she said that, now like she did look like she really held it together quite a lot, but I'm sure she was crying and I can't really remember. Um, but definitely not to the same extent as Connor Swift. Um, anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd share. I'm really enjoying watching all their stuff. I can't believe she's just back. It's actually mad, isn't it? Like nothing's happened. It's wild. <laughs> but I still, I'm not going to lie, like I enjoy watching her. Not that I agree with everything, do you know what I mean? But I enjoy watching her. 
I'll be honest and I do like her but I'm not gonna go into it too much because I don't want to get myself in trouble but everyone does make mistakes might be the biggest mistake to most people <laughs> but nobody's perfect um anyway yeah any tips on how to not be a wrote an emotional wreck would be greatly appreciated I might get my coil out and just hope it's that <laughs> but I don't think it is they're just too cute because it honestly hurts me I'm gonna put you in her dirty ear because we have to clean her ear with her well we have to put an antibiotic in and clean her because she has an ear infection at the moment or hunchy bunchy. And there's my bobby. My little bobby kiss. Oh guys, I found a photographer that's nice. I'm hoping they're free because I found a different one and they were busy. I just like simple. I don't like any of the weird filters that they use. I just like natural candid pics like. Now I'm gonna tear up now. Can you guys literally believe that I got gifted an outfit from Nadine Rabbi. I gave them a few of my favourites so I don't actually know which one they gave me but it's something bridal vibes for like either day two or the hens or something. Excuse my voice I'm so blocked up at the moment. Oh my god the packaging is so nice this is from their bridal range. So incredible. I'm scared to open. Oh my god, everything is just so nice and beautiful. Oh my god, I can't cope. Look at this. Emma, I hope you love your Emily dress. Oh my god. And Amelia jumpsuit as a little gift from us. Wow. Two outfits. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. I cannot believe that this is actually happening to me. Like, I'm obsessed with this brand, guys. I love them so much. I've loved them for ages and I've looked at their stuff before for like our engagement party and stuff and been like, mm, I just can't um, part with that money. But like, oh, their stuff is so gorgeous unbelievable um sending so much love for money and the team and team are happy wow and then there's a beautiful like soup carrier to keep it in like the quality of everything is just so nice such a like nice experience opening the package like stunning even that's lovely quality and believe me i've seen bad quality ones <laughs> and then what's with me oh, this is the media dress i think one that i am literally obsessed with fully be wearing this today too with the wedding. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh my god, this is the jumpsuit of dreams. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my god, I literally am in love. What a day. Can you honestly believe this is my life? Because I can't. <laughs> I literally cannot believe it. I'm shocked. I literally, I was so happy when they messaged me. Guys, I literally was like, no, this is a scam. <laughs> and then it was their actual page when they clicked on their name. I was like, no, you're joking me. And then I thought they'd send me one thing and I've literally been given two. Like, wow, <laughs> I'm obsessed with them, guys. I love. And I never can part with the money to buy stuff from them. So I actually can't believe it. Like I probably would have bought my dress from there. I'm so excited. I have this outfit from ASOS that I've been meaning to show you for ages. Um, because it's so nice. I got it a good while ago now. But it definitely fits in with the Nadim Rabi type of stuff. It would be really nice for like a hen party or anything wedding related to be honest. <laughs> Engagement party. It's stunning. And it's a bit of a knockoff of one of the Nadim Rabi, um, I hope I pronounced that right, suits. So this is just shorts instead. I think there's is trousers, but wouldn't be fine because um, our wedding's going to be in July. So, so it's from ASOS, but 
the brand is St. Genie's and I feel like they've got lots of stuff like this, like wedding vibes, really nice, like fancy stuff. So it has like pearls all the way down here, all the way down all the sleeves. And then it's actually, it's quite fitted, like it's nice. I think it's, yeah, meant to be <laughs> fitted. And then you're meant to wear the shorts underneath it. You barely see the shorts when it's closed, but you can also wear it open. Um, so I got the shorts in a 12 and they're actually like a really good fit. They probably could be a bit looser like there'd be no harm but they look fine so i'm not going to get a size up just in case because if anything i'll hopefully be smaller by the wedding but um yeah so nice that they put the pearls inside i don't think the trousers nadine where we do and i can't remember the price of this but it wasn't bad i'll have a look at it and i'll put it up on the screen and if it's still in stock i will link it below but if not i saw loads of nice stuff last night when i was having a look on asos like wedding vibes this could be nice for like the night before or the hen, even day two. I'm scared. I haven't tried on my Nadine stuff yet because I'm scared they won't fit. Hello guys. I'm just popping on now to end the video basically. But I can't remember what I updated you on. So we haven't sorted a photographer. We started looking and emailed a few but we haven't checked that off yet. But hopefully in the next few days we will. Um, now we've actually booked the band. I don't think there's a problem with telling you who we booked, but I'm so I'm always just nervous of sharing too much. But um yeah, we've booked Myron and the Grooves. They seem really good. So yeah, I think they're playing somewhere locally enough soon. So we're gonna go to that probably with our parents and stuff. Um so yeah, I will let you know if that was hopefully they're good. Imagine I was like we made a big mistake actually i don't even think we've paid anything yet i think if you do for a band it's only like two or three hundred euro anyway so it's not actually the end of like your life but um yeah that's it i'm so blocked up so i, <laughs> I won't keep you for long Um, i think that's all that i've got to update you on thank you so much for watching i feel like we're making a few more moves again which is good so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one because we're in no way finished i was only saying to con it's so funny how the um wedding and honeymoon fair was on in september i hope i haven't already said this i've got such deja vu but like we literally were like oh that's ages away because i think it's usually in like january or feb but it was postponed because of covid so we were like i remember when we got engaged in like december been looking up the show and stuff and been like oh i really want to like go to stuff like that um and hearing that it was postponed to September, I was like, what's useless? Like, we're gonna have everything booked by then. <laughs> and we absolutely don't, so that's funny. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.